हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल कोड कंप्लीट द स्पिरिट ऑफ कोडिंग टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सेट अप लोकल डेवलपमेंट एनवायरनमेंट फॉर रिएक्ट प्रोजेक्ट फ्रॉम स्क्रैच इन दिस वीडियो वी विल कवर द फॉलोइंग टॉपिक्स some of prerequisites and things to keep in mind before set up react project such as install node js install editor install git install web browser install create react app package then we will set up react project in local development environment and finally we will start react development server before we begin first and foremost you will need to have node js as well as npm installed on your computer that you are working on because the tools used for react development rely on node js and without node js there is no way to install prerequisite libraries and dependencies you can download node js and npm for your project at node.js.org/en/download find the appropriate installer package for your computer and operating system and follow the instructions provided by the installer you can also refer the video link given in description section below to install the recent version of node.js and npm in your linux machine install an appropriate code editor or ide short for interactive development environment react development can be done with any programmers editor and there are many editors available like sublime text atom brackets etc but i have had the best experience with visual studio code also known as vs code as it is an all in one solution that provides an advanced editor with an integrated terminal and command line tool and it is a popular choice among web developers as well so that gets my personal recommendation but you can use anything you are comfortable with you can also refer the video link given in description section of this video to install visual studio code in linux machine the git revision control tool is required to manage some of packages required for react development git is already included in most linux distributions if you want to install the latest version then refer the installation instruction for your distribution at the given link for ubuntu which is a linux distribution i use the command is sudo apt-get install git once you have completed the installation open a command prompt and run the command to check that git is installed and available the command is git version 
this command print out the version of git package that has been installed. I have already installed the git in my machine. After installing git, we recommend to restart the computer. At the time of making this video, the latest version of git for Linux is 2.28.0. The final choice is to make is the browser that you will use to check your work during development. All the current generation browsers have good developer support and work well with React. But there is a useful extension for Chrome and Firefox called React Developer Tool offered by Facebook that provides insight into the state of React application. And that is especially useful in debugging and development of complex projects. I used Google Chrome and recommend using same to develop React apps. Next, we need to install Create React App Package, which is an NPM package. The Create React App Package is the standard way to create and manage complex React projects and provides developers with a complete tool chain. This can help you get started quickly and set up all necessary tools such as Webpack and Babel for pure React application. Command to install Create React App package globally using npm is as follows. npm install minus g create react app. Notice minus g flag makes sure that create react app package installed globally. Let's quickly understand the difference between global and local packages. Local packages are installed in the directory where you run npm install followed by package name and they are put in node underscore modules folder under the same directory. Global packages are all put in single place in your system exactly where depends on your setup. Regardless of where you run npm install minus g followed by package name. The create react app packages require a global install because it is used to create your react projects. In other words, create react app isn't actually the part of your project. Rather, it is used to initialize your react project. So let's install create react app globally in your machine. Open a new command prompt. And run the command npm install minus g create react app and press enter. Once the installation is complete, to check the Create React app is installed and available, run the following command. This command prints out the version of Git package that has been installed. Now we are ready to use this tool to create your first React app. Since we have installed Create React App globally using NPM, now we will create new React application using Create React App command. So open a new command prompt. Navigate to a 
convenient location. I am creating my React project in documents directory. Now run the command create react app. My app. As you can see, here we specify the project name my app as an argument to create react app command. When you run this command, the project named my app will be created in your current directory if it does not already exist. If it already exists, the directory will be used and all of the packages required for developing and running a react project will be downloaded and installed and create the boilerplate directory structure and files for us. The setup process can take a while because there are a large number of packages to download. On successful execution of the command, you should see the output similar to the following. My app directory is created during the installation. Navigate into your new folder after the setup has finished. Now type ls-l to list the files and folders under directory my app. Or for better visualization, you can open the application in an editor or IDE. For Visual Studio Code, you can simply type code dot on the command line terminal. And there we have my app folder. Inside the folder, the following project structure is created. We will go in depth and explore the default project structure in details in later video. But for now, Let's launch or start this application using npm command in the terminal. Open the VS Code integrated terminal command line tool or you can run the start script from main terminal also. Only need to make sure to change the directory to my app folder. Type the command npm start and press enter. You will notice that the app will run on local development server on port 3000. The development port used to listen for HTTP request is 3000. Although a different port will be selected if 3000 port is in use. On running npm start command, the application is compiled and will open a browser window and display the URL HTTP colon forward slash localhost colon 3000 with a React logo and welcome react message display as shown here. There is an alternative method to create react project with the 
without need to install the create react app package and the command is npx create react app followed by the name of application within the terminal you can navigate to the directory you want to create your application and execute the given command it is to be noted that we have used npx instead of npm npx is a node package runner that comes with npm version 5.2 and higher while npm is used to install packages npx is used to execute packages in this case we are not actually installing the create react app package on a system but we are executing the package which in turn will install a react application on your system so we did not have to install any node js modules the command line npx temporarily install whatever was necessary to run the command line create react app and run it so friends that's it for now we'll see you in a next video where we will go in depth and explore the default react project structure in detail if you like this video please give us a thumbs up and for latest video updates please subscribe to my channel thank you